While picking a favorite guy from Queer Eye is nearly impossible, there's definitely no denying our love for resident chef Antony Porovsky. The Canadian hottie has stolen all of our hearts, mainly for his love of corgis and undenying appreciation for avocados. But unfortunately, he's off the market. The 36-year-old Porovsky was previously in a relationship with Joey Kretemeyer, but the two split in October 2018 after seven years together. He then dated Flipping Out alum Trace Linhoff for about a year. As a source confirmed to E! News in November 2019, Porovsky is now in a relationship with New York City-based advertising executive Kevin Harrington. The two made their public debut as a couple while attending multiple celebrity Halloween parties in matching costumes. They've since celebrated Thanksgiving and Taylor Swift's 30th birthday together, as well as gone hiking in Utah and took a ski trip to Switzerland. After production for Queer Eye Season 6 was temporarily shut down in March last year, they quarantined together in Austin, Texas for about four months. Porovsky has been serving up killer recipes and helpful life advice on the Netflix hit since 2018. But his next project will be much more personal. The cookbook author will soon appear in his very own Netflix romantic comedy, Girls and Boys, which will focus on a character who dates people of both genders. Not much is known about Girls and Boys just yet, since it's still in development, but The Hollywood Reporter did reveal Porovsky's actual dating experiences will be the loose basis for the story of the upcoming movie. After a whirlwind romance, Jonathan Van Ness wed best friend Mark Peacock in a secret wedding. The pair announced their marriage with 2020 Roundup Instagram posts, showing the high points of the year and expressing their love and gratitude to each other. Calling the year unlike any other, the 33-year-old beauty expert took a look back, pausing to notice some of the highlights. Of course, campaigning for Senator Elizabeth Warren was among the great moments listed, but he also casually dropped the news that he tied the knot. I got married to my best friend and have a loving partner to continue building my life with, he wrote. Although Van Ness didn't tag his husband in the post, he did share a photo of what appears to be their nuptials alongside the message. As Mark Peacock is quite a private figure, not much is known about his life, apart from the fact that he was born in Brentwood and studied at the University of Essex. When it comes to the rest of his 2020 journey, Van Ness became the first non-female to appear on the cover of Cosmopolitan UK in 35 years. In a December Instagram post, the star shared that he often feels guilty when he thinks about the way his success and privilege have allowed him to weather the COVID-19 pandemic pretty well, especially as someone living with HIV. I'm HIV positive and have access to my antiretroviral therapy that suppresses my HIV viral load, keeping me healthy and at an undetectable level, which makes it almost impossible for me to transmit HIV, he wrote. In further devastating news brought to you by 2020, Caramo Brown has called it quits with his fiance Ian Jordan after 10 years together. The 40-year-old, who serves as culture expert on the hit Netflix reboot, was with his boyfriend Ian Jordan for eight years when the pair got engaged in May 2018. Brown told The Ellen DeGeneres Show that while the breakup was hard, the two are still good friends and wish each other the best. Following his breakup, there's a new man in this Queer Eye star's life. In November, Brown revealed on the People's Choice Awards red carpet that he's currently smitten by a new beau. Though he didn't share many details about the new relationship, the father of two can be seen cozying up to a new man for the past few months, who happens to be actor and singer Chris Salvatore. Salvatore is best known for his role as Zack in the Eating Out gay film series. He was also featured in After Elton's annual list of the top 50 gay and bisexual male celebrities, ranking at number 44 in 2011. Pan France is now officially a citizen of the United States of America. The fashion expert, who was born in the UK to Muslim Pakistani parents, announced his big news with a post on Instagram in June last year. A few minutes ago, I officially became a US citizen, he wrote in the caption, alongside photos from his citizenship ceremony. For me, this is monumental. It's something I've been working towards for literally 20 years, which makes this all the more emotional. France added, and now I will exercise my constitutional right as an American. Today, I will register to vote and vote for the change I wish to see in our nation. The British-Pakistani-American fashion designer currently lives in Salt Lake City, Utah with his husband, Rob France, who is a pediatric nurse and illustrator. Tending to your home is an often forgotten form of self-care. Few people know this better than the interior designer Bobby Burke, who typically makes over an entire house under a tight deadline on the hit Netflix show. Although Burke makes his living out of his lifestyle and design expertise on television, his husband Dewey Doe prefers to remain in the shadows. The couple previously lived in New York for 15 years before moving to Los Angeles in 2018. 
That's it for today. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to make sure you stay up to date with celebrity gossip and the latest showbiz news.